So, you're getting gear and throne of liberty. All right, here it is. Let's take a look at these griefs. All right, you got this from a dungeon and you don't know what to do. You're not going to use them. So, what do you do with this piece of gear? You have three options. Let me break it down for you. Option number one, you can actually, I take that back. You have four options. The first option is you check if you can feed it into the lithograph, okay? That's pretty straightforward. If you feed it, you can get these rewards, okay? That's option one. Option two, you can turn it into a lithograph. What is a lithograph? A lithograph is essentially a, you turn it into a recipe for others to buy so they can use that recipe to craft this piece of gear. So if I turn it into a lithograph, I can sell this on the auction house for Lucent because I cannot sell this piece on the auction house as it is, okay? In order to turn, turn this into a lithograph, you will need to have a precious blank lithograph item here. And in order to craft that item, you can go to this craft menu here. And if you scroll all the way down, you can see that it requires enchanted ink. It requires these mats. Enchanted ink can be purchased from a contract coin merchant whom I will go to right now. And you, hold on, you, I'm gonna show you the contract coin merchant, but this is the contract merchant himself. You get these contracts, you finish these contracts and you're gonna get these contract coins. You can then burn those coins on a contract coin merchant found in most of the major cities. Okay, so I'm gonna go to Castleton here. And here he is, contract coin merchant Kale. He is selling enchanted ink. You can purchase 50 a week. This is extremely important for you to do. You have to do this. You have to buy this enchanted ink. Very important, okay? So to summarize, you can turn this into a lithograph by clicking on this. And in order to craft this into a lithograph, once you have those mats, you're just going to go to the armor crafter in Stoneguard, and he's located right here, okay? That's where he is. I'm not going to port there right now to make this video a little bit shorter. Option number two, you can turn this into a trait or extract a trait from it. You click on this button here, and you need trait extraction stones in order to turn this into a trait. If you look at this item, you can see the trait that comes on the item is debuff duration. If I extract this trait, I now have a debuff duration minus 1.5% Ebon Roar Greaves trait. Okay, I'm not going to go into what you can use these traits for. That's a different video. I have that. All right. So you can extract this trait and what you can do with traits is you can sell them on the auction house. So if I, if I extract this, I can sell this on the auction house. If I want to see the value of this, I can just go to trait list. We go to debuff duration. And as you can see, the cheapest debuff duration trait is 500 Lucent. The cheapest Ebon Roar Greaves debuff duration is 920 Lucent. This is a lot of Lucent. This is definitely worth extracting. If the item that you're extracting maybe isn't of value, and this also applies to if you turned it into a lithograph, if it's if the amount of Lucent you're getting for the extraction is too cheap, then I would not recommend extracting it, okay? That leads us to the next thing you can do it with. But before we go to that, let me just tell you where you get these trait extraction stones. You get them from the same person. If I move my camera, scroll down, there are the, there are the trait extraction stones. Weekly limit 420. Okay. Um, now, obviously, there's some more ways to get them. You could also get trait extraction stones by doing these events. Okay. Uh, if we go to this event right here, you can see the participation or the ranking rewards are trade extraction stones. But you could buy a lot of these. Uh, yeah, it's a lot, but it's good that it's a lot because this is the main way you're going to be making Lucent, right? So to summarize, the second thing you do is you can go to this menu, extract the trait using trade extraction stones, which you will get from the contract coin merchant which you will purchase with contract coins that which you get from completing your contracts okay now the last thing you can do is you can simply dismantle them for precious magic powder 
What is this magic powder used for? It is used for crafting pretty much everything in the game. If I go to this weapon and I want to craft this, uh, let's say that I want to craft this right here. As you can see, it uses precious magic powder. Every, almost every item that you craft, I mean, there are a lot of items that don't, don't require, but a lot of items that you craft in this game, you'll see that they require magic powder. So this is important, okay? Now, when I dismantle this, and I'm going to use this as an example, endurance. If I dismantle this, you're going to see I get 10. If I dismantle a blue item, I get 10 blue magic powder. If I, if I dismantle a purple item, I get 10 pink powder, okay? This is pretty much a guarantee. You have an additional chance to proc... So, like, as you can see, it says 0 to 1 magic, rare magic powder. It's like if, it, like, if you get super lucky, you might get one extra blue from it. But for the most part, 10 greens, or excuse me, one green is going to give you 10, uh, 10 green powder. One blue is going to give you 10 blue powder. And one purple is going to give you 10 uh, purple powder. Okay. I hope I phrased that correctly. Yes, you get it. So now, if I dismantle two of these, I'm going to have 20 quality magic powder because each gives me 10, right? Right. So instead of doing this, it's very important that you combine them first. Okay? I'm going to smash these two together. Okay? Rather than dismantle them separately. Because if I do that, okay? As you can see, I now have one item with two traits on it. And it's going to give me 35 powder. So if I, set, if I dismantled them separately, I would have had 20 magic powder. But because I combine them, I get extra value because every extra trait that you apply to a piece of gear, you will get an extra 25 magic powder. So each item that you dismantle base, is it starts with 10 magic powder, but every trait you add on to it, you get 25 magic powder per trait. So this is significantly better than dismantling them separately. So a lot of people ask, Ken, why are you just hoarding all these greens? Well, the garbage greens that I'm hoarding, I'm hoarding because if I get extra traits for them, I can just smash them together and I'm going to get maximum value out of the amount of po magic powder that I get. Okay? So this is a very basic beginner guide when it comes to what you should do with your gear that you do not need. I hope that made sense. If it didn't, I feel like I did I feel like I did explain it relatively clearly. If it didn't make sense, just rewind the video and watch it again. Okay? And my Twitch chat here is telling me that it was it seems like they understand, which means you guys on YouTube should understand too. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm streaming on Twitch. Come follow me on Twitch. And I'll see you in the next video.